Preparations in England for the airborne operations of 17th September. The first Allied Airborne Army, under Lieutenant General Lewis H. Brereton, is ready to take off from scores of fields to invade the Rhine Delta of the Netherlands. The forces participating in the largest assault of its kind are the U.S. 82nd and 101st Airborne Divisions, veterans of the D-Day landings in Normandy, also the British 1st Airborne Division. The paratroopers are loaded into hundreds of C-47 transports. They were preceded by a vast fleet of bombers and fighters which softened up the Dutch invasion area. takes off toward the English Channel and heads for Holland. Landings are scheduled to be made north of Eindhoven, southeast of Nijmegen, and west of Arnhem. On English airfields, gliders are lined up to receive their assigned troops. This particular group constitutes a signal company. They'll be responsible for establishing a division command post and setting up a communication system. At H 140 minutes, they'll land in Holland slightly north of the town of Zahn. Last minute instructions are issued as they await the takeoffs. The gliders, towed by C-47s, carry field tanks, hospital equipment, and numerous items necessary for a self-contained army. across the channel. The vast inundated plains of Holland, where Nazis opened the dikes to provide barriers against land invasion. The airborne attack is aimed at the rivers of the Netherlands that form a natural protective front for the weakest part of fortress Germany. Reaching a point near Eindhoven, the gliders cut away from the tow planes and come down for the landings. The airborne troops quickly consolidate their initial objectives.
entering the town of Zahn, 18th September. <laughs> 